long time no see. Um, it's been kind of a crazy couple weeks for me. I just came back from Korea a little less than a week ago and I've been in the process of moving. As you can see, I'm in a new place right now and setting up my room, my new room, and getting everything situated. So I have been literally all over the place. But I just wanted to share with you guys while I was in Korea what I had bought. And I'm probably going to do my Korea haul in three different videos. So I'm going to do one on skincare, one on makeup, and kind of one of a fashion haul of different clothing items, accessories, and shoes I bought in Korea. Let me tell you, I bought a lot of stuff in Korea. So warning, if you're offended by any type of haul videos or you don't like watching these type of videos because you find them offensive or something you're not interested in, please feel free to click out now. Otherwise, let's go ahead and get started. Let's start off with a Etude House. One line that I was really interested in checking out was the Collagen Moistful line from Etude House. Um, I just needed a light moisturizer, so I decided to pick up the Emulsion from this line. And basically, it is just a really light lotion. Next, of course, I picked up Wonderpore. This is a really popular product. A lot of girls really rave about this, so I wanted to try it out. I've actually, this is one of the products that I've dipped into a little bit, and so far, I really like it. A lot of these products I actually haven't tried out yet because I haven't gotten the opportunity to even unwrap them. So you're gonna see me ruffling through a lot of packages in this video. I picked up the Writing Essence Lotion, which I actually tried a sample of this out while I was in Korea. They gave a ton of these samples to me and my mom, and this was a product that I actually tried out and liked it so much I went and bought. It gives my skin a really beautiful luminous glow, and it has like a lip from within type of look. I decided to go ahead and pick up the Pearl Aura Brightening Essence, and I'm not necessarily sure exactly what this is supposed to do, but I'm excited to try this out. I'm not necessarily sure if this is like a serum or if you're supposed to use it like pre-makeup, but I'm gonna go ahead and look into it a little bit more, but it, packaging is so cute on this bottle. I think all the packaging is super cute in Korea. As far as skincare goes in Etude House, I was also interested in trying some of the masks that they have. So I, wanted, I bought a couple of the nose masks, the eye gel masks. These have collagen infused in them, evidently. The lip area mask, which these I thought were kind of funny. They go around like your upper lip and your lower lip, like on your chin. The uh, powder, the like pink powder spot patches from Etude House. Their AC Clinic um, Intense Line is really popular and basically these are just blemish bandages you put over if you have a pimple or anything and it's supposed to speed up the healing. I tr wanted to try their blackhead remover um, kit and I just picked up two of the hair packs that they have. This one's in Argan seed and this is in jojoba seed. I don't know what I bought at the particular time that I had bought it, but they gave me this whole kit as a free sample, which I thought was a really good deal. This is from their I'm Blooming line, and I really enjoy this idea because it has um, a product from each of their, uh, like basically types of skincare in this skincare line. So going on to skin food, so skin food is actually where I bought the most skincare. While I was in Korea, the one store in particular, because I really like the concept of there's, you know, food for your skin type of thing where they use a lot of food ingredients to improve the look of your skin and everything like that. First, I picked up the Peach Sake Pore Serum. And um, I just wanted to try this out because I needed a serum and I just wanted to see how this worked because I heard a lot of really good things about this. I needed a face cream so I decided to try the Gold Caviar Cream. Um, and it comes, it's so cutely packaged, like look how adorable that is. Uh, yeah, so I just wanted to see how this worked. It was funny because when I was in the store asking for a skin cream, I wasn't actually going to purchase this one in particular because it was one of the more expensive skin creams that they had in the store, but the, the like sales associate would not let me buy any other skin cream, so I was like, well, if it's that good, I guess I will try it, so. They're very persuasive in Korea. This pineapple peeling gel is a really popular product as far as peeling gels go. To my knowledge, I don't know of any very popular peeling gels in the United States. If you're not familiar with what a peeling gel is, basically it's a cleanser that you rub into your skin. And instead of like exfoliating with like beads, it does a kind of, I'm not, I wouldn't say a chemical peel, but it basically just 
peels your skin away so as you're working it into your skin you'll actually see like rolls of skin come off and it's just dead skin so that's always good to remove and I think it's nice to have something versus having a manual exfoliator which can sometimes be too abrasive to your skin. I got the Milkshake Point Makeup Remover. This is a really popular makeup remover. It's the two separated colors so you like shake it and it combines. I picked up the Red Orange Matte Finish Matte Type Spray, which is supposed to be comparable to the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Sprays, I think. They had two types, they had the matte type and the glossy type, but I'm not really into the glossy look on my skin, I think it can tend to look a little oily, so I picked up the matte type. I got the Grapeseed Oil Neck Cream, Wrinkle Neck Cream. Now for me, I always, whenever I do my skincare regimen at night or in the morning, I always make sure to do whatever I'm doing to my face onto my neck and my chest because I personally think if I'm going to invest this much money and time into my skin on my face, if the skin on my neck and my my chest don't match when I'm like 40 years old and I've got like a nice you know nice skin on my face and then my neck and my chest are all wrinkly, it's kind of pointless. So I wanted to try this out because I thought it was a really interesting concept and again I haven't seen anything like this in the United States so I thought I'd go and pick it up and from my knowledge uh, I don't think it was that expensive, I think it was less than 10 bucks. so I thought what the heck. I of course picked up the Black Sugar Mask Wash Off because this is a really popular exfoliator in Korea and in general, so I'm always down to trying new exfoliators and this was a big tub and fairly inexpensive like all the products I picked up, so I wanted to try that out. This is a huge tub if you can see how big this thing is. This is the Black Sugar Deep Cleansing Cream and I wanted to try something uh, different for my double cleansing method uh, that I use when I clean my makeup off my face. I'm going to go ahead and do a video on that later on, uh, but I usually use an oil type or cream product before to remove most of my makeup, and then I go back with a foam cleanser to clean off any residue left. So I wanted to try a new cream cleanser, and this is a huge tub, and like I said, I think this is around $10 to $12, so pretty cheap. From Nature Republic, I picked up the Skin Smoothing Green Apple Peeling Gel. I wanted to try another peeling gel. This was really cheap. I specifically, well, it's also marked right here, but I specifically remember it's 4400 won, which is basically like four bucks. So I was like, oh, I want to try that for $4 peeling gel. Why not? So I picked that up. And then I also picked up the Argan Essential Deep Care Hair Pack. This had one of the Essential Get It Beauty stickers on the display so and my hair is pretty dry since I have really long hair and so I'm always down to try new things to help out my hair so I wanted to try this product. I picked up of course the aloe smoothing gel. Um, this is really good for your skin, nails, hair. It's kind of like an all over generic general type of moisturizing gel that's also light which is good for summer because it's really hot where I live and I'm really excited that I have something to help my skin out during the hot times. It's not I also picked up a lot of stuff from Alcoholic on as far as skincare goes. Now the reason why I picked up so much skincare from Holocaholica, which I wasn't planning on doing, but the sales associate there was really nice and sweet and helpful. She recommended the Good Sarah All-in-One Master Super Ceramide uh, Cream. And I actually haven't heard a lot about this, but she was saying like this is a good all-in-one encompassing product. So if you're not interested in doing like a 12-step skincare product system, this is kind of a good all-in-one type of thing. I also picked up the three second starter in the hyaluronic acid formula. She was this was the first thing she actually directed me towards when I mentioned skincare. This is actually a booster type of product, so before you apply any type of skincare to your skin, it's always a good idea to apply a booster which helps your products kind of sink into your skin and makes them more beneficial. Of course I needed an eye cream. This was on sale when I picked this up. This was $20 versus being $40 regularly I think. And I, I actually, this doesn't say it's from Holocaholica, but I know I bought it from Holocaholica, but it actually says and Prani Deep Wrinkle Solution, and this is a retinol solution for your eyes, and retinol, of course, is really great for wrinkles, and I'm all about preventative care. I guess these are skincare. These are like the baby foot, the, the little uh, sheets, mask sheets you put on your feet to kind of get rid of calluses or anything like that you've got going on on your feet. So these are supposed to be pretty intense. I'm kind of intimidated to try these out, to be frankly honest. Uh, but I'm going to give these a go and probably do a review on them when I do try these out. Then I wanted to try, of course, the Holica Holica Pig Nose Clear Blackhead 3-Step Kit. Woo! It's a mouthful. So this has three different steps to help remove the blackheads from your nose. Next, 
I got a couple things from, like I said, a couple different stores. From, this is from Innisfree, I think. Yeah, Innisfree, they had a buy one, get one free, so you can get two foam cleansers in a like pre-packaged thing like this. My mom and I actually bought two and then split them, so that's why there are two different ones in here. I have actually tried the Innisfree Jeju Volcanic Pore Cleansing Foam. This is actually really nice and it does suds up really nice, which is really, you know, real luxurious and relaxing and everything like that. And I really feel like it cleans out all the makeup from my skin and everything like that, so that's really nice. It's also wet from being in my shower. And then I picked up the all, uh, Innisfree Olive Real Cleansing Foam with extra virgin olive oil because I love olive oil. I'm all about that olive oil life. From Nisha, I picked up the Time Revolution, the first treatment essence. This is supposed to be similar to SK2 and since I'd already spent so much money while I was in Korea, couldn't bring myself to spending another hundred plus dollars on the SK2, but I was really interested in trying out that type of product. So I settled for the Time Revolution and I've heard really good things about this, so I'm excited to try that. I picked up the Rice Water Bright Cleansing Water from the Face Shop. This is, I'm assuming, similar to Bioderma. Uh, I use actually Bioderma a lot. It's one of my favorite cleansing type of products that doesn't require a sink or water. It's kind of a nice on-the-go type of product or, you know, just a skin pick-me-up in the morning when I don't feel like washing my entire face or anything like that. It's just kind of nice to wash over your face and it makes it feel nice and clean. I picked up the Laneige Water Sleeping Pack. Uh, this is a type of mask that you actually put on before you go to bed and then you wake up in the morning and wash it off and evidently your skin looks beautiful and glorious when you wake up. So I picked up the Innisfree Super Volcanic Pore Clay Mask. This is just your typical um, like mud mask, except it has like the J the volcanic clay from the Jeju Island. While I was in Korea, I got the opportunity to meet some family that I'd never met before in my life. So that was a really exciting opportunity for me and really exciting for my mom, of course. And so while I was visiting my mom's aunt, so I guess my great aunt or something along the lines of that, my jog and harmony, if you're familiar with Korean, which basically means my little grandma, um, she got me this as a gift and it is from A History of Woo, W-H-O-O. -O. If you're not familiar with this brand, it's a very luxurious, luxurious high-end um, brand that a lot of, it's coveted by a lot of Korean women. A lot of older women like to use these type of products because they consider this a type of investment into their skin. So this is actually a kit that is limited edition and comes out once a year and my aunt actually says she pre-ordered it for me, which is really nice of her. And this thing is super pretty. So it comes with, of course, like a little, um, I can't read any of this because it's actually in Korean, but I'm assuming it's kind of about the brand type of thing. And this is what the kit looks like. It's absolutely gorgeous and it's gold and it's beautiful. And so this is a little lip gloss kit right here, which has such pretty little colors in it. Looks like that. I'm obsessed with the case because I think it's so pretty. And then of course, it comes with a cream, which it comes in this little glamorous, luxurious, looks like a little genie bottle, doesn't it? And then it comes with a spatula, which has like a little swan on it. And this thing's heavy, like this is, it's like definitely weighted. So you use the spatula to kind of scoop out the product, Ooh, here. Scoop out the product and apply it so it's more sanitary. And you can see that how luxurious this thing is out of all this container, which this container is not the biggest thing ever, but it's like this much product. So it's definitely good. And I will definitely use this when I build up the guts to actually open it up and use it. But I'm really excited and very grateful that I got to meet my family and they were so hospitable and so gracious towards us. So. I'm so thankful that I got the opportunity to meet them. But yeah, so that was the last skincare item I wanted to show you guys. So that is my skincare haul from Korea while I was visiting Seoul. Uh, let me know if there's any specific products you want me to get more in depth into with a review or how they work. I will be reviewing and putting more information and pictures of these products on my blog, which will be linked below. The website link is in the description box. Also, if you didn't know I was in Korea, that means you're not following me on Twitter or Instagram, so that means you should. 
Uh, while I was in Korea, I actually met a certain person who I'm really excited to have met. And so if you want to see who that was, you should probably go check my Instagram. Again, all the links are down below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.